In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the most overpowered script in Roblox Bedwars. Stay on to the end to figure out how. What's up guys, welcome back to another Roblox Bedwars video. This is HJ, and today I got another really overpowered hack for you guys. It's a GUI. And this script will probably not get patched for a very, very long time since the developers of the script keeps updating it even though it gets patched. So hopefully you guys, you know, get the script in the description and execute it. Now after you do execute it, let me execute it real quick. Also you can use Synapse or Kernel, whatever you like, whatever works. After you execute, it will look something like this. It will say finish loading. Now I have everything on right now, so let me take everything off and tell you guys what each one of these does and which one of these are absolutely useless. Now once you turn it on, it will look something like this. Now once this pops up, you can move it around, do whatever you like. Once this pops up, you want to go to combat. And I'm going to explain every one of these four. So the auto clicker, if you turn this on, it basically swings a little bit faster. This is auto clicker, okay? Now there's a uh, no click delay, which is better than the auto clicker, and basically swings like four times faster. So this is the difference between auto clicker and no click delay. Now after that, there's velocity. It reduces knockback. So basically, what that does is when you get hit by a TNT or a sword or a arrow, whatever that knocks you back you will not get knocked back. So pretend you're walking across a bridge, you get shot from an arrow, you will not get moved and you will keep walking on the bridge. Now the fourth one is sprint. It's just a default sprint, like in Fortnite, all right? Now after that, you wanna go to blatant. So we got combat down, let's go to blatant. Blatant, there's so much, so much, you know, useful things right here, but some of these are useless. So first of all, blink is useless. It chokes all packets, which means you'll just get frozen, killing yourself, all right? That's just like a reset button. And then after that, anti-void. This is probably the best feature this hack has, okay? If you turn this on, look what happens. So basically, this white plane is the void. If you touch this, you die. Basically, what it does is when you fall, it bounces you back up. Isn't that so overpowered? I think that's really overpowered, guys. This is just a, an amazing tool they developed. How did they even think of this? So let me, you know, really hop up over here. Oh, I died. Also, you can bounce more than three times, okay? If you bounce more than three times, you will just fall to the void. So these guys are fighting right here. Let me put my auto clicker on. And I'll probably die here. Yep. Oh. Also, if you rejoin, like if you leave and rejoin, it saves all your re presets. So, as example, if I turn this on, every one of these will still be on, even though if you leave and rejoin the whole entire game. Or if you just join another match, it will still be your preset, alright? Now, since we got anti void and all these done, the next thing is auto buy. So, auto buy, if you turn this on, basically, so when you get like 60 iron, you'll get um, a leather armor right away, even though you don't even have to buy it. You, you can just sit here and just it will just automatically upgrade every single one of tools you need. So, unfortunately, I have this um, barbarian on, so it will not upgrade my sword but it will upgrade anything you need. So it will automatically buy swords, armor, and team upgrades as well. So if you get, like, let's say you go to over there and get like four diamonds, it will automatically upgrade, you know, um, team generator to level one straight away without even going in this character, all right? After that, uh, actually, let me actually show you guys it automatically upgrades the armor. So 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 8, 9, and there we go. It automatically bought the armor for me, alright? Now, after that, 
we got kill Ara. I think this doesn't work. I think this one got patched since it was too OP. But you still have the auto kicker, which is pretty much very OP. Now, after that is fast pickup. So this is just picking up stuff, right? This is just picking up. If you turn on fast pickup, it doesn't even touch the ground. It, you instantly get the iron. Alright, since we got that down, next thing is uh, Ben Yuker. This does not does anything. Fast break. This is yeah this is so op so let me show you guys what it looks like um fast breaker is basically just one tapping anything in the game just anything like beds you can one tap it with a wooden pickaxe so boom oh see this guy is this bed's already destroyed but i don't know what happened to this guy's bed let me run away real quick so basically you can destroy anything with one hit with your pickaxe bricks beds anything you want all right after that, their speed, it makes you go zoom so fast, and yeah, this is actually faster than sprinting, by the way, obviously. And then after that, you have fly. So you will only, this fly option will only work if you have balloons. If I turn this on right now, I can't move. I can't move at all. But once you have balloons and put this on, you will be able to fly anywhere you want. It just flies really, really fast. After that, uh, we have Scaffold. This is one of the best features I've ever seen. So Scaffold, I preset to my option V. So basically, Scaffold is just auto-bridging. Like, building this fast. It can go. You can also go up. And yeah, you can just automatically get to people's bed as fast as possible. But let me one-tap this guy's... Yep, I just got their bed. And that's how fast auto-brick is. After, oh, let me bounce here real quick. And after that, all we got left, oh, I think I fell. All we got left is uh, auto toxic, which trash talks other players when you kill them. It's kind of toxic, I don't really use it. Now, uh, what else we got? We got no fall damage. No fall damage. Really, really useful. Um, you won't get any fall damage at all because we have the no fall damage on. And then after that, we want to go to render. And that basically, you know, this is just for killing, alright? Just for killing uses only. If you turn on ESP, you can see each other's um, hitboxes. So over there, there's a pink guy right there moving. That square is a guy. That orange square is a guy. So it just basically shows where they are, where they're moving. And then if you put on um, charms, I don't know what that does. Full bright is just makes everything brighter. Just easier to see. I think this one actually helps a little bit on your gameplay. And then search, I don't know what that does. Tracers, it shows you a line, the distance between you and the other players. Really useful too. I recommend using it. Bed ESP, this is useful. This is actually useful. You can see anyone's beds through their builds. So um, let me actually try to find a bed and s show you guys what it looks like. So let me go over here and try to find a bed that is not broken so this bed is not broken and as you can see I can see through their builds and yeah all you want to do is just one tap everything and that bed is broken and again I'm in a new game and I still have all my options on and this will not reset at all times so we got already got bed ESP next thing is name tags turn on this you can see anybody's name tags. So that guy is Mr. Scooty D D D D G G G J J J. That guy's name is J G L I Living A Z. So you can basically stream snipe anyone with this feature on, or just go for your friends, or yeah, just target people just judging by their name tags, since everyone looks similar. Now that is another really good feature this hack has. As for that, you want to go to utility. I don't know what this does. Panic, yeah, so utility is useless. Panic basically um, shuts down everything. Alright, so don't use use utility. Um, world. This, on the other hand, is kind of useful, especially free cam. But before that, there's x ray. So if you turn this on, you can see through everything like this. If you get close to it, oh, it just bought armor for me. So you can see through anything and anywhere. Now, after that, free cam, on the other hand, now look at this. It's basically your own personal drone. 
that travels around the map and you can see anything what what is this guy doing buying stuff yeah you can know what everyone is doing like anywhere anytime and yeah my body is still over there so i cannot get hurt or anything i cannot collect diamonds either but you can see what everyone is doing if someone is rushing your bed while you're collecting iron anything like that so this is my body and this is my drone invisible invincible and it's a really good spying tool now I turn that off i'm still here uh let's see what else we got the other self-destruct i don't know what that does i literally turned this on and nothing happened so yeah i think that's useless oh self-destruct is basically shutting down the hack so if you can't exit out of the hack or you can't you know reset yourself or anything if you want to just turn off the hack you can just press self-destruct and it will turn off the hack so let me inject it again i don't know why i did that i even knew what it did i just did it all right so all my presets are back here again as soon as i executed the script and let me actually show you guys how it looks like so the character i recommend you guys using with this hack is a barbarian or something whatever i'm using when you get enough hits you move on to the next ward so let me use the auto bridge real quick there we go there we go oh auto clicker enabled how am i in this so let me kill this guy real quick I have a wooden sword and this guy is running away. Alright, got that guy. Probably getting a hundred streak soon. And if you have this hack on, you're basically getting on the monthly top leaderboard. So it just bought the um, iron armor for me. And as soon as I got 120 iron. And what I recommend you guys doing with these hacks is some of these have um, shortcuts. These ones have shortcuts. So if you want to scaffold... So, if you have this on at all times, if you just walk around, it automatically wastes wool. But, if you have a shortcut, so let's say you can set a keybind for this. So, let me say my keybind is V. So, let me set it to V. So, if I, anytime I press V, it turns it on and off. So, as you can see on my bottom right corner of the screen, you can turn it on and off by just pressing V. Now, let me auto bridge right here. Press V again to disable it. So I just upgraded my sword sharpness. Let me bridge over here. So this guy doesn't have a bed. So if you're feeling really, really lazy, um, if you, you don't have to like connect all the way to there. You can just literally bounce and boom. Yeah, just like that. So let me do that again. This is actually really fun. Sometimes you can, you might just die. Sometimes you just bounce up, up. But the max bounces you have into the void is two jumps. And boom, I won. Just like that. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. If you found this informational and helpful, please leave a like and comment and subscribe for more of these hacks. And be sure to know that the script is in the description and in my Discord server. And yeah, thank you for watching. This was HJ and peace out.